We were totally baffled as we saw the epidemic of heart disease emerging really towards World War II. It was difficult to find heart disease in America before World War I. But gradually it moved into an epidemic proportion and then people didn't quite know what to do. What is causing this disease? And then came World War II the largest nutritional experiment ever conducted in the history of the world. What happened? As Nazi armies occupied the uh, Central uh, European and Northern European countries, they took all the livestock from the people. And these occupied countries now, the people had to live on very simple diets. They had to live on foods as grown. They had to live on foods without nutrition labels, simple foods, whole grains, fruits and vegetables. They had to live on beans, simple foods that you grow in the gardens. And that's what these people had to do because it was wartime. And what happened? Within one and one and a half years, coronary artery disease went way down in these countries. Diabetes went way down. High blood pressure rates went way down. Overweight went down. And all of a sudden, it was amazing to see heart disease dropping off virtually in spite of the war and the stress and everything else. And so in America, we saw just the opposite. In America, we saw the heart disease rates going up and up and up during World War II. And we began to say, what could this be? And so this gave birth to one of the most important studies ever done, the Framingham study near Boston, which started in 1949. And they enrolled some 5,000 people in the town and followed them for the next one, two, three generations. And we learned the powerful lesson, and that is heart disease is not so much a genetic problem as it has to do with certain risk factors. It has to do with cholesterol with smoking, with high blood pressure, it has to do with diabetes, it has to do with overweight, triglyceride, the blood fats, it has to do with stress and an inactive lifestyle. Of course, there are sometimes also some genetic factors, but these are the modifiable factors that we can change. And we learned from the Framingham study that heart disease was a disease of lifestyle. How people live, how people eat, largely determines how people die and when they die.